Let's move on to psychology. Confidence. Confidence is the most important part of trading. Now, I know I've said a lot of things are important, but genuinely, this is very important. You have to be confident in your trades while you're taking them. Because if you're not confident while you're trading, you're going to feel emotional. You're going to be doubtful in yourself. And when you're doubtful during your trades, trust me, you're just not going to feel nice inside. That constant fear, that constant doubt inside. Oh my gosh, should I be in this? Should I actually take this trade? Oh my gosh, should I take profit early? Should I help, should I put my stop loss a little far away? That itself is a major red flag. That either means you're not ready to trade emotionally, mentally. You're not confident in your setup. And you didn't follow your rules, bro. Because if you did, you'd have full confidence in holding until full take profit or full stop loss. For example... I do not care if I win or lose. I could be on a losing streak for a month. I do not care one bit because I know in the long run, the strategy pays. I know in the long run, I'm going to make the money back. Now, how do I know this? How am I so confident? It's because I have market experience. I've been trading for over four years. I know how the market works. I know how strategies work and I know what I have to do. It's just do the opposite of 99% of traders. But don't get overconfident though. Overconfidence can absolutely kill you. And I'll go over that in the next section. Now, I just explained why confidence is so good to have. But why is being overconfident bad? Being overconfident in your trade can absolutely wreck you. Now, this has happened to me. This has happened to people in the Discord. This has happened to a lot of people I know. Again, the market does not give a shit about you. Let's say you're on a 10 win streak. Let's say you're on a 10 win streak. That's crazy for you. Now, after 10, after 10 trades in a row, you're going to feel very confident. You're going to feel invincible. You're going to feel like nothing can beat you. And then what does that do? That makes you stray away a little bit from your strategy. Now you're seeing, oh my God, there's so many possible entries I could have had if I just, maybe I just move my stop loss a little bit. Oh, maybe I just extend my take profit a little bit longer. I can maximize my profits. So that is the worst thing to do, bro. By being overconfident like this, you're just going to go on edge. You're going to be very mad after taking that loss. And then after you take that loss, because you got overconfident and took a bad trade, you're going to get on edge. You're going to start gambling. You're going to start not following your rules at all. You're going to start YOLOing and you're going to absolutely blow up your account. I've seen this happen countless times. Don't let the market beat you. Do not let your emotions get to you. Just because you were in a 20 win streak doesn't mean you're invincible. Always stick to your strategy. If you're not invincible. The market will always win. Emotional control is very important while trading. Without having proper control over your emotions, you're not going to be able to execute the trades accordingly. Let's say something happened like your mom, your dad, your girlfriend pissed you off or they're just saying something you don't really like or whatever. You get what I mean. Something's going on. And that anger that they're throwing on top of you or you're, you're, you have an argument with your friend. That anger, that anxiety that's coming from an outside party can affect your trading very badly and that can mess up your emotions. That can make you go on tilt. That can fuck up your whole day. The important thing also is when you take a loss, take it with pride. Be proud of yourself that you took a loss properly. Don't get sad about it. Don't think it's the end of the world because it's not. It's just one trade. The market's always going to be there. So don't get emotional about losing one trade, two trades, three trades in a row because it happens. The market's not going to replicate your 10 win streak you had last week. This week, you might have a four lose streak. doesn't matter. You always have to stick to your plan, be disciplined and take losses with pride. Not get emotional, not let your emotions get to yourself. And this is going to take time because remember, it just is what it is. You take a loss, it is what it is. You take a win, it is what it is. You can't get emotional during your wins. You can't get emotional during your losses. You have to have a balance between both. If you get emotional during your wins and you celebrate, you're all excited. The same thing's going to happen with your losses. When you take a loss, you're going to be sad about it. You're not going to be confident in it. You're going to have regret when you took the trade. The last thing you want is regret in a trade. If you feel any type of emotion, regret, anxiety while you're in a trade, that means you weren't supposed to be in it to begin with because... You weren't confident in your edge to start off taking it and you weren't confident in yourself and your ability to execute. So believe in yourself, control your emotions and always just keep in mind and always keep in mind the more emotional you are, the less profitable you'll be. Stay patient. This literally sums up everything I just explained perfectly. If you're not patient, you're gonna fail. 
most traders are patient. That's why 90% of traders, 99% of traders fail. If you can't fathom the idea of failing for months and months and months and months and months on end, trading is not for you. You have to be some sort of like delusional and psychotic, not psychotic, but you have to have some screws loose up in there to actually start trading and to continue trading. Think about it. If you tell someone, yeah, I'm just going to start working a job and just I'm going to constantly lose money and fail and yeah, they're going to look at you like, what the fuck is this guy on? What? Like, it makes no sense. Logically, it doesn't like failing, 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 but it's a business at the end of the day in business. When you start a business, it's going to fail. You have to fail multiple businesses in a row for you to learn from your failures to learn f to for you to learn from your failures to adjust and to grow. The same thing with trading. Trading is a business at the end of the day. You have to fail, fail, fail until you succeed. You have to learn from your mistakes. You have to learn and you have to stay patient. It's my motto. Patience pays. PP. Now I know I'm spitting a lot of sauce on these videos, but actually just start taking notes. Go back, watch the videos, learn what I'm saying, absorb what I'm saying, because if absorb what I'm saying, because I wish, I wish somebody told me all of this when I first started, I was so emotional. I wasn't confident at all. I never trusted my strategy and I wasn't patient enough. I was so emotional. I would be in a trade and I would just close out of it as soon as it goes a little bit in my favor, because I was so not confident in my strategy that I any sign of green I would just instantly take and then when it hit my stop loss I would continue moving my stop loss moving my stop loss just in hopes that it will go hit my take profit and bro you don't want to get down that route it's just a never-ending hole of failure so trust me when I say this stay patient trust your edge you've traded before you know how to trade you know what to do to become a profitable trader all you have to do is trust the process. If you've back tested for over a year, for example, let's say you sat down for a month straight, you back tested all of 2023 with your strategy and it's profitable. Now, you know this. All you have to do now is stick to the rules, stick to your strategy and trust the edge. One thing a lot of people don't tell you is it's OK to have red days. It's OK to have red weeks. It's even OK to have red months. That's completely normal because most of my profits are from just four to three months out of the whole year. Over 50% of my profits are from only three months. Just think about that. December, I was practically break even. February, I was practically break even. But I made 70. I made 50 just in October and November. I know when you're first starting off trading, you don't really have the patience or the mental stamina to continue going and trusting your edge and believing in yourself. So this is where the confidence kind of plays into this, where you just have to fucking believe. Bro, I promise you, like I promise if you just stick to it for six months, you will 100% be a little bit profitable. I promise. OK, if you go a year, even better. I say switch your strategy after six months of no progress with the strategy. And if you're going to trade a strategy, test it yourself. Make sure it's what you like. Make sure it fits your personality style and make sure you fully under you fully understand why it works. Not just because, oh, there's an order block. Once it touches, I'm going to short. No, there's an order block here because the market dumped. So there's a lot of sellers up here. So next time we enter that, what's going to happen? It's going to act as support. So it's going to reject the exact amount. These are things that will come over time. So just trust your edge and understand in due time, you'll see the gains. Don't stray away. Don't gamble. If you're going to trade another strategy, get another evaluation account to trade. I trade pro firms. I'm guessing you do as well. With Apex, you can get 20 accounts. So just get one account, trade the other strategy you want only after you've mastered this strategy. That's it. Now, moving on to something you really shouldn't do when you're first starting off is strategy hopping. Strategy hopping is when you have no clue what the fuck you're doing. You're just copying someone else's trades. You traded one strategy for a week or two and you're like, oh my God, this doesn't work. And then you go learn another strategy for another month. And then you trade that for three weeks and you realize, oh, I'm not profitable. No shit, you're not profitable. You didn't learn anything. You've been just guessing the whole time. Get one strategy, understand it, adapt to it and make it adapt to you. Change up the rules so they match your style. If you realize something constantly isn't working, 
change it up. Put your own rule on it. Put your own spin on it. That's what a lot of profitable traders do. They take an existing strategy and they make it their own. That's what I did. That's what everybody that makes money does. Yes, you can make money from copying someone's strategy exactly how they do it. But I recommend experimenting and testing how you do yourself. Because doing it yourself, you'll learn better than just copying. And you'll understand why the trades are failing and why the trades are winning. And you'll be more confident to hold the trades longer. Just because the strategy wasn't profitable for a week doesn't mean you should switch the strategy. Test it over a long period of time. There is no such thing as missing out on a trade. whoop de doo You missed the trade. Guess what? The market's there tomorrow. The market's there the next day and the next week and the next month. This is one thing. For some reason, I just struggled to like fathom is I tried taking so many trades in one day. I tried just always winning. I tried not missing any trades. Basically, I had FOMO. The market would move in a direction very fast. I'd enter the, the I'd enter longs if it was going up and I'd have FOMO. I'd lose and I'd be like, why am I such a big loser? Stop having FOMO. Yes, you can miss out on a trade if your strategy presents itself and you don't take the trade. But guess what? Yes, you may be hindering and affecting your PNL and your win rate and all that, but guess what? By entering it when you're not supposed to, you're fucking up even more because then you're fucking up your win rate even more. Because now you're getting a bad RR, you're getting a bad trade, and you're emotional during the whole thing because you didn't want to enter to begin with because you had a bad fill. What's my point? Nothing ever good comes out of FOMO nothing and you know this i know this but for some reason you still do it for some reason the average trader still does it and i don't and i don't want you to be average i want you to succeed i want you to become profitable yesterday just remember this and actually like absorb it the market is always there it's never gonna leave it's been here for decades and your strategy isn't gonna magically stop working tomorrow i promise you that the strategy you're you've been working on and developing is not going to magically disappear tomorrow. It's still going to be there. If you get no trades tomorrow with your strategy, that's 100% okay. Wait the next day. The next day, you have to stay patient, brother. You have to stay patient during these times because this these are the most crucial times for the strategy. It's called the development stage. Not only for your strategy, but for your mind. So please do not get it twisted. Do not think you're missing out on a trade. Do not get emotional. Trust your edge. Have your emotional confidence high, but not too high to where you get in a constant win streak and you think you're invincible and you take a loss and that spirals into you taking loss after loss after loss based off your emotional snowball down that mountain. Now let's move on to roadmap to where I'm going to be discussing how we could take everything you just learned and apply it.